On the south side of Bodmin Moor, between Bodmin and Lisgard, lies an open area of ground called Gunzayan Downs. 167 acres of the Downs was given to the adjoining village of St Neot for recreational use. The villagers used it for little more than grazing their animals. In 1967, a forward-thinking local businessman called Mike Robertson, best known for his Trago Mills retail empire, made a proposal to the village. He would either buy or lease the land and build an aerodrome. Mike Robertson had already formed the Cornwall Flying Club and amongst his supporters he had two flying heavyweights. Air Marshal Sir Leslie Bower and Group Captain Ken Hubbard were both decorated wartime pilots. Ken Hubbard also had the distinction of having dropped the first hydrogen bomb on Christmas Island in 1957. The proposal was discussed at a couple of parish council meetings in 1967, but anyone who looks at a map realises that the airfield never came to fruition. But a lingering question remains, if an airfield had been built, what would it have been like? I decided to do some detective work. The runway layout as shown on this sketch map is a little simplistic, so I went to Google Earth and worked out the best orientation and distance for each runway in turn. This is the view from the southwest corner of the site. Whilst the runway lengths as measured were not insignificant, the problem for five of the six runways is that the thresholds were compromised by the proximity of a public road. This is the view from the northwest corner of the site, looking southeast. 
If the whole area were clear, then the site would have made a good aerodrome, in the old-fashioned sense of an area of ground where one could take off and land into wind. But it was not to be. The village of St Neot voted overwhelmingly to reject Mike Robertson's proposal. Whilst I'm generally in favour of aerodromes, for obvious reasons, I think the villagers made the right decision. The site is best left for grazing animals and walking dogs. It's none too flat, it's beautifully wild, and it's a really enjoyable piece of ground to walk across. Mike Robertson did not give up on his aim of finding a site for an aerodrome for affordable aviation. He rightly predicted that Plymouth Airport would eventually close and that RF Newquay, now Newquay Airport, would not be there for the common man. In 1972 he bought Trewissick Farm, just east of Bodmin, and after a public inquiry opened an aerodrome. It was a far more suitable site than Gunzion Downs and for the last 50 years has been home to the Cornwall Flying Club. A well-drained field, good runway length, and the A30 main road is at the end of the lane. It's got everything a good aerodrome should have. Do visit soon, and thanks for watching.